we talk about a culture as if it's this kind of existential thing. And that culture doesn't acknowledge all the individual and different ways that people come to the table. So I'm somebody who walks with multiple identities. I was born in London, my family's Ghanaian, my mother is Ashanti, my father is in Zuma. I carry all of those cultures within me. And the reason why they matter is I'm a journalist by trade who loves the media with a passion, and I'm somebody who studied journalism and studied law. My father wrote and studied law, and so I've always believed I'm my father's child. But I'm of tribe, which is what African people are. And it was my mother who taught me, when I was a very young journalist, given my first opportunity to co-host. My mother was the one who challenged me and asked me, what is a co-host? What does a co-host do? And when I explained to her, over chopping onions in the kitchen in London, she told me that it is not your job to sit beside a man and look good. That is not your job. That is not a job. And so said, she said to me, what is it that you want to do? I said, well, I want to have my own show, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. She said, if you want to lead, lead. And that comes from a tribal space. My mother doesn't understand or know what feminist is. If, she, if you told her the word, she would laugh at you. And so it's about understanding that there were movements before yours that identified way, ways for women to be equal and didn't call, it the la didn't call it the name that you called it, but had a way to breathe that. So for me, it's the marriage of all those cultures. It's the marriage of the, all those identities to create intimate revolutions in order to transform your world, in order to transform the world. And the same way that I have to take account of my culture and the things that make me up, I need to take account of the culture of the people that I work with in order for them to do the same. And part of moving towards a culture of care, I think, is expanding our notion of culture and paying closer attention to not just who's in the room, but how they show up in the room and how they can change what they do in order that we can change the world. Otherwise, we're in danger of creating platforms that are tributes to symbols, but don't do the substantive work that is negotiating your own resistance in order to transform. Mm. Mm.